Yo, what is good? It is your boy J Rod, and today we are going to be talking about the future, the very near future for the Dallas Mavericks after this playoff series. So currently, the Dallas Mavericks are down 3-0 to the Golden State Warriors, looking like it's going to be a sweep. Pause. That that I I meant to do a sweeping motion, but that looked like something else. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a sweep. Maybe the Mavs get game four, maybe even game five, but there's no way that they're going to win four games in a row um, against the Golden State Warriors. So now I'm looking at this and I'm like, all right, well, now that the Mavs are going to be done for this season, let's look at what they got to do next season to go from a team that made it to the conference finals to a championship contender. Now, first thing I want to say with the Dallas Mavericks, you exceeded expectations. Congratulations. Um, Luka Doncic went crazy. Crazy. Um, dropping 40 bombs, dropping 30 bombs. To be a Dallas Mavericks team that has your second best option being Jalen Brunson and you make it to the conference finals is incredible. That just shows how great Luka Doncic is. Um and how many solid pieces they have on this team. Beginning of the season, midway, and the end of the season, to the beginning of the whole entire season, I had no faith in the Dallas Mavericks to make it anywhere near past. Well, actually, you know, I, I definitely saw them beating the, I picked the Utah Jazz, but I it wasn't crazy to me that the Mavs beat the Jazz. But um, it was crazy to me that they beat the Phoenix Suns to go on to the conference finals. So they definitely exceeded expectation. The only thing I'm worried about here is that the Dallas Mavericks pull like a Portland Trailblazers and the fact that like, okay, we make it to the conference finals and then we run it back, even though we know that our team is not good enough to be a championship team with Dame Dallas, CJ McCollum, and Nurkic. Even after that conference finals run, I knew that was a team that just wasn't a championship worthy team. And that was the best run that they were going to have. And to this date, it was the best run that they had, and now that C.J. McCollum is gone, that window's over. Now, luckily for the Dallas Mavericks, they have a little bit more time, and they got some younger players. So I'm just worried that the Mavs are like, you know what, we're good. We made the conference finals. We're not going to make any big-time moves. We'll re-sign Jalen Brunson, and we won't do anything else this offseason. And then you end up losing in the first round the next season because you find out that you don't have enough star power around Luka Doncic. So what I'm here to do is to come up with some potential trades that the Dallas Mavericks should do this offseason. Now, when it comes to cap space, they don't really have too much cap to be able to bring in any big time free agents and free agency because you still got Tim Hardaway, Din Woody, Bertans. Uh, you got some guys here and some of these guys are on some lengthy contracts. Now, my biggest thing here, you got Tim Hardaway coming back. He was injured for the season and Tim Hardaway was a big piece of the Dallas Mavericks the season before this one in the playoffs um Tim Hardaway would have been a huge addition coming off the bench for this team for sure um I wouldn't trade Tim Hardaway yet I know the salary is definitely up there 21 mil is quite a lot especially with a player coming off a pretty pretty rough injury right there and he's not getting any younger but I don't really see too many teams I'd want Tim Hardaway Jr. anyways. Maybe you do Tim Hardaway to the um, Orlando Magic. You could do like a Tim Hardaway. You get yourself Terrence Ross. You cut out two years of that contract. And then you're definitely going to have to th throw in like a first round pick. At the same time, I don't really know why you do that other than to get off of Tim Hardaway's um, contract. But yeah, if I'm the Dallas Mavericks, I keep Tim Hardaway. I was just kind of trying to throw some options out there. Uh, Davis Bertans is a guy that the Mavs really should look to get rid of in that contract. Um, a player that I really think the Mavs should go for, the Mavs need a center. I'm done seeing Dwight Powell be, being a starting center for the Mavs. And the thing that's good about the Mavs is they don't always have to heavily rely on a center. So even if they go and trade out to get a center, it doesn't mean that that center is going to be playing 30, 40 minutes a night, you know? Obviously, Miles Turner is going to be in trade talk. So Miles Turner, I mean, the Pacers would definitely want like some young assets out of this. So maybe you throw in like Josh Green just ha to have a young player in there. Um, Frank Neal Keela 
and then um and then maybe you give him Dwight Powell. So there you go for Miles Turner. You give him Dwight Powell, two young players in Josh Green and Frank Nealakila that they could look to maybe become potential players for that rebuilding Pacer team. And then you're probably gonna have to throw a few picks in there, whether it's a first round pick or maybe two second round picks. You know, you could definitely move your way around there. But uh, Miles Turner would just be a perfect addition for the Dallas Mavericks. Um, I mean, he would be a perfect addition for pretty much any team in the NBA, but especially the Mavs. Because if I'm the Mavs, like, I definitely want to make some moves this offseason to make the team better, but I'm not really looking to get, like, a superstar option next to Luka. Mavs, I think, are one of the very few exceptions of teams in the NBA that doesn't necessarily need a second star player to bring them to the championship you know what i'm saying uh because usually nowadays you need at least two or three all-star caliber players to get yourself into a championship level team the dallas mavericks i'm not where are the mavs i'm trying to i'm, I'm going around circles here trying to find there they are okay um yeah i don't think the mavs have to worry too much about like oh we got to get a guy like Kawhi. oh we got to get a guy like pg we got like just keep going what you got you got solid role players and just look to get those couple extra guys that'll get you up and over the edge like the Miles Turner. So, you know, Miles Turner, although he's not necessarily an all-star caliber player, I think he turns this team around so much in what they're trying to do um, offensively and defensively. So, uh, yeah, I mean, re-signing, re-signing Jalen Brunson is going to be huge too. Um, you got to re-sign Jalen Brunson. Even if it's in a sign and trade, regardless, you got to get Brunson back. So do not lose him. Um, I'm trying to think of some other players that, that could be on the Mavs. I mean, pretty much I'm looking all for centers. You could look at the Knicks. I mean, maybe they do a sign and trade with uh, Mitchell Robinson. And then you could give them, you know, like Josh Green and another player to bring in Mitchell Robinson. But yeah, pretty much if I'm the Dallas Mavericks, man. Don't look to do anything crazy, but you have to make changes. You can't roll back with the same roster. You got to look to make some changes. Um, they got a lot of role players here they can consider to trade. I mean, Spencer Dinwiddie, Bertans, they got a lot of lengthy contracts here. But yeah, that was the video. Just nothing too big there for the Dallas Mavericks. I feel like they're one of those teams that don't have to do anything crazy, like I said. You know, I think there's a lot of other teams, which I'll get into in the future, like the Utah Jazz. Um like the Portland Trail Blazers, like a lot of those type of teams that really got to make some big time moves this off season. But the Dallas Mavericks, they could sort of take a back seat. You know, you still got to do some little adjustments. Um, but yeah, you could take the back seat and ride it out a little bit as Luca is still a young piece uh, for the future. Love y'all, man. If you enjoy this video, leave a like. Turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any future videos. Subscribe to the channel. And I love y'all, man. Peace.